Robots have already started taking up different roles and are proving their versatility as efficient employees. But what exactly are robots doing here in Dubai? That's what we're talking about in this edition of Inside AB. I'm Bernd Busman, and this is Shruti Nair. So, Shruti, what new position has a robot acquired? Cleaners. Well, that is uh, the new position that we are talking about today. So, RTA has just started using robots uh, to clean metro stations. So, there are a bunch of robots being deployed in different parts of the city right now, uh, and they're being expected to clean. The reason why this works is because the amount of water that these robot cleaners are going to use is going to be much lesser than is used otherwise. And also, it provides a greater level of uh, sterilization. These are the two major advantages that they provide uh, over human beings. cleaning uh, metro stations. So this is just an effort uh, to introduce new technologies and new uh, ways and solutions in terms of introducing AI and artificial intelligence technologies in day-to-day operations. So have they already started deploying these robot cleaners to the metro? Uh, not yet, not on a large scale right now. It's still in the experimental phase right now. But once uh, the entire experimental step has been successful, they're going to start deploying it uh, across different stations and metros across uh, Dubai. And recently we also had news about a robot pharmacy, isn't that right? Yeah, that that was uh, last year. So DHA had inaugurated a smart pharmacy, uh, which featured a robot, of course. Uh, and the robot's role was to uh, dispense and prescribe medication in Latifa Hospital. And this was not the first one that came out uh, last year. There are about four smart pharmacies featuring robots doing different roles, especially with regards to medication dispensing and uh, prescribing medications. And uh, there are two smart pharmacies in uh, Rashid Hospital, and there's one in Dubai Hospital. Interesting. And what other sectors have robots kind of been entering, I suppose, in Dubai? I mean, we've been hearing a lot about it since 2017, I guess, uh, in the education sector, healthcare sector, etc. Uh, but one thing that is really interesting uh, was uh, there are a lot of robot teaching assistants in autism centers. So we know there are a lot of robot assistants in schools that we see today, be it uh, school for special need kids or uh, O-level or B-level schools, etc. But now uh, this has been specifically useful for autistic kids because you won't believe it that uh, it, children find it more more easier to interact with robots than with human teachers, uh, and especially in the case of autistic kids. So it has proven to be successful. So just recently we saw there was a Umal Khoyan Autism Center which implemented this and it has been successful so far. But apart from that, um, that's uh, Strata Manufacturing has implemented a robotic system uh, in its manufacturing processes. Uh, we've seen a lot of airlines implementing uh, robot uh, robotics and a lot of robots in, in flights and to just to make Uh, the experience more convenient in duty-free shops, in a lot of hospitals for surgeries, etc. So I think uh, they are taking up a lot of uh, roles and positions of late in Dubai and the UAE. Okay, thank you. That's very interesting. Uh, we actually have a lot of stories about robots and artificial intelligence and, and all these sorts of technologies at arabianbusiness.com. So if you're curious, go head there and check that out. Um, as always, you're watching Inside AB. I'm Brent Busman. This is Shruti Nair. Thank you.